It's going. Easy now. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Got one behind him, too. All right, now, Doug, as we're moving along here, he's uh, taking some of these fish you've cut off the strut line, and you're writing the information down. What yes. is that information, and what will it be used for? Well, this is, uh, I mean, I'm recording the fish species first, and then I'm recording its length. 22.7. And its weight. Weight can uh, be helpful in trying to tell the condition of the fish. Length, we'll use those in like length frequency uh, graphs and curves and try to figure out just what that population looks like. We have with us Ohio River biologist oh. Doug Henley. Thanks for coming out with us today or thanks for letting us go out with you. When I started with fisheries back in the 80s, uh, catfish, rough fish, people love catching them right? Uh, like they always have done. But I have started to notice over the last uh, especially the last 15 years or so, people really evaluating the resource and appreciating the, the catfish a little bit more. You've seen catfish tournaments. You can go out and catch huge fish. What a valuable resource. And you know, it's, it's like, you know, muskie have always been appreciated for their mm -hmm, size and bigger mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. And people are catching on, pardon the phrase, right. to this uh, catfishing experience. How do you manage differently because right. of that? You know, early on the, uh the catfish was something that you mainly like channel cats uh, you would catch for, for food to eat yeah and when I first started on this job particularly in the Louisville area you didn't see blue cats so within the last 20 years the the blue cats have gone from not seeing them here to when you put a trot out that's that's a predominant fish that you'll catch why what's your explanation uh, well, for the because we're starting to take better care of our resource. I mean, it seems like water quality wise, of course, then your forage base does better. And when you've got food to eat, then your other species will do better. Now, the last two shows that we've done just happen to be on the Ohio River. We've uh, gone out with some guys who like to noodle for the catfish, mm -hmm. which is yeah. an interesting concept. That's right. Recently, we, w we went out right next to Cincinnati. We're looking at the stadium uh -huh. and we're catching catfish right there. You know, it's getting more and more popular. People are guiding for catfish now, mm -hmm. something you never would have imagine 20 years ago. Have you intensified your catfish studies due to this increase yes. in activity? Yes. It seems in the last, uh, I don't know, 10 years at least, one with the blue cat starting to show up, two with their size. The, the blue cat seems to be the, the fish of choice that these guys are after. These fish have taken on like a trophy status and, and due to their size, I mean, these people want to go out and catch a trophy sized catfish. Uh, one thing I've noticed, which is a good thing, I think, is they do practice catch and release. Right. So they catch these big guys that you look at and take a picture or two and then put them back for somebody else to catch. In fact, the uh, state record of uh, 100, 304 pounds down below Candleton, that fella, you know, took it around in a big tank, showed it off several times, and then put it back in the river. So uh, can, possibly that fish is still swimming around somewhere. Wow. So it's pretty neat. When you look at our master angler uh, program, the average catch for the master anglers around 40 pounds, and those wow. are basically blue cats. The other day we caught blues, you know, 12, 13 pound mm -hmm. range. It's amazing the fight. Oh, what yes. an amazing fish. But, and again, that's the reason we're out here today because right. people are concerned. So what kind of input do you get, have you been getting, and how have, has the input on catfish changed over the last 20 years that you've noticed? What are the calls that you get? A brewing controversy now, I mean, we might as well just touch on it just a bit, and that's the uh, commercial fishermen. We have commercial fishing on the Ohio. Commercial fishing is a part of Kentucky. It's been ever since the pioneers got here. People have been fishing for fish to eat, and then since then, you know, they're fishing for fish to eat as well as make a living. And now, uh, with commercial fishing, a lot of the catfish that are caught out of the Ohio are being used to, to supply pay lake folks with fish that go into their pay lake. If you can advertise, I've got a 60 pound catfish in here, you're gonna attract people that are gonna come and try to catch that fish. So that's, 
it's a user conflict that now it seems to be brewing between commercial, sport, you know, interests. Do we know, is it, or, you know, or the taking of fish out of here by, by the commercial interest, is that hurting what the, day, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, populations? We don't know. We still seem to be catching big fish. They seem to be catching big fish. The sport guys seem to be catching big fish, so we're not sure. And that's part of why we were out here. We started doing looking at catfish in 2005, so I've been looking at it for five years. And thank goodness we have a Fish and Wildlife Resources, because, you know, any, any seemingly uh, uh, unending resource, mm -hmm. nothing is infinite. I mean, nothing. years ago, uh, passenger pigeons would black the sky. Uh, yeah. They thought there was no, that population's gone. That's Buffalo right. ran over the plains. Those, we we didn't can. have fish and wildlife back then to be out here checking and, and see right. what the, the impact right. on it. Or you, so can, I, you can impact populations. Right. It may take you a while, but you can impact those populations. Right. So, and you would think they were never ending, but that's not the case, especially when you start messing with the reproduction. Right. Uh, you can knock them out in a hurry. Not only are you a fisher's biologist, you're a fisherman out here. Oh yeah. So you love the resource as well. That's right. All right, That's I'm going to get out of your way right. and let you do your thing. All right.